blow guys it is i don't really know what time it is does anybody really know what time it is i'm speaking quietly because ken's asleep and uh, i'm in here in the office messing around i uh i would piddle around making this i'm calling it a junk bracelet but it's actually several weeks ago about a month or two ago cindy on uh, cindy loves jewelry had a bracelet that was just costume jewelry that everybody went nuts over and it was a uh i think it was unmarked actually it was a bracelet with a thick uh, gold chain like this and big huge heavy charms she ended up not selling it she found something that didn't suit her it wasn't perfect and she pulled it but not before the bid thing and i thought what is it about that bracelet we all like and it, it was just so different it didn't have little charms on it it had great big pendant like charms so i got the idea of taking an old belt and cutting links off of it for a bracelet in recycling um my some of my old jewelry pieces which those of you who know i have tons of pieces that i have clipped off of broken jewelry and things so that's what i'm working on right now i have already done several pieces uh, they're just random i guess it's the my equivalent a junk journal but it's jewelry but um actually if you had seen the interest generated um that night by that great big chunky bracelet so i thought i would just make one and i may wear it tomorrow i don't know we'll see and i'm gonna put a great big old clasp on it um i had this and i thought about putting that on there but got a lot of wear it's vintage and it'll probably make its way to one of my um oddities and wonderment things it's got some of these they look like pictures they're black and white they look like from the early 60s or something thought that was really interesting that'll probably just be in an oddities and wonderments bag The reason I'm up at this time, and I think it's actually four o'clock. I don't know if it's four o'clock or three o'clock. I haven't figured it out. But um, while I've had Bell's palsy, there's a fatigue level that goes with it. And um, I'm trying to neaten up just a little bit. Um, I've gone to bed so early in in doing so then i wake up earlier because i actually am supposed to be on a real strong bipap machine and i can't use it right now because of the eye situation and the bell's palsy where my eye doesn't close good it's a long story i've had a long journey but i'm doing better but um anyway my sleep i i have very serious sleep apnea and i wake up but anyway i got on up about one o'clock thought it was morning and uh, i have slept i just slept really early and we have our church job today so i'll probably be really tired after work but uh, anyway i get up in the middle of the night and i just decided to start coming on surely some of you guys are up too you know just figured i would i was exceptionally tired today we got a little chest of drawers that uh, was my daughter's and hauled it home and i filled it full of beads the whole chest of drawers except the top layer is jewelry findings and uh, i was really tired i mean looking at pieces i don't know that's just almost too much i would have to put a t pin through it i don't know i think this would probably get on my nerves to have a bracelet now here's a 
really pretty druzy. I like how that looks. I think I'll put that druzy up there. Get my reading glasses. Let's see. Nobody's coming in. I guess everybody's asleep. It's four in the morning or three in the morning or I don't know exactly what time it is. For about two weeks, Ken and Ollie's go around singing. Does anybody really know what time it is? That old song by Chicago. Does anybody really care? And over the years, we've been married over 40 years. We have attended church late or early. Once or twice where we forgot to turn the clock back. My mother was uh, just obsessed with turning the clocks back. It worried her to death, and she would start about nine o'clock the night, be, you know, the night, and she would call everybody and remind them to turn their clocks back. Have you turned your clocks back? And at our house, it usually is a couple of week process. You just have to remember which clock's been set back and which hasn't. But um, <laughs> it drove my mom crazy when she would come over and she would say, you know, set your clocks back. So she would start asking us like that afternoon, have you set your clocks back? Well, mom, you don't do it till the middle of the night. So I just always tell the kids that all the clocks in heaven have officially been set back because my mom is there and <laughs> I'm sure she was appointed to keep the clocks turned back because she's so good at it. Let's see how that looks. I just thought this is a really cool way to use some of these pieces that maybe I don't want to put on pendants. There we go. Well, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Let's see what else. I thought I pulled this actually with the intention of putting it on there, but I don't like how it looks, I don't think. I don't know. I kind of do. Well, not right there. I don't know. I may wait on that. I've got three starfish I thought about scattering amidst it because some of the things I have on here. Well, one of the things is a fish, so a starfish would be cool. How would that be? This thing needs room to spread out, so I may not. Let me just put that over there. Put that there. Let me think about that. I want it to be full, but I also don't want it to be really heavy. Yeah, I think I'll put those on there. These jump rings I'm using to attach are not the very best. Uh, would probably be good to use some of the ones that have the... Just takes all the sun out of it, having to use that tool and try to open them. The ones that have... I forgot what you call them. They're hard to open and collect. You have to use a certain tool I've got over there. Let's see. That one has a jump ring I don't like. I'm going to take off. I don't guess there's a front or a back to that.
Yeah, I don't like that. No, we'll see. It's just, just not wanting to do what he's supposed to. Okay, here's another one. Let's get him on there. Over here, so I'm going to put that one. I thought for sure I would have some of my insomnia friends come in. I should have probably shared it on Facebook, and I didn't. Those rings kind of sprung, I think. Yeah, I'm going to pull that one. It was opened already, and I think it was just sprung, and it won't shut. Let me see what else I've got. That one's too big. Hi, Tammy. How are you? I've been up since about one something. I went to bed really early. And I don't sleep but just a few hours right now. And I woke up and had two cups of coffee and took a shower. And I'll probably get sleepy right as it's time to go to church and have trouble playing. Because I'll be asleep. <laughs> Have you turned your clocks back? Ken was telling me something about um, at some point we're going to turn it one direction and leave it there or something. I, I, I can't ever remember things, you know, I just go with the flow, kind of. So I am about the weather in my family, it drives them crazy, but they're all about the weather forecasts and stuff, and I just kind of go with, so I go, oh, that one came off. Hmm. Um, they just go with it, you know, I mean, they, I go with it, they tend to be looking at the forecasts all the time and stuff and I don't. I go outside and if it's cold I go back and get a coat. This is mesmerizing video. Me sitting here tinkering. I thought there might be some folks that uh, oh there's why that other one came off. Let's see. The thing itself broke. Oh, I see what I did. I broke that whole thing off. Well, I really like that little piece. Of, oh, well, I'll put something else there. I get all my starfish on. I really, really like that the way that looked, but I don't want to use it if it's broken. I can't stand to just lie there when I wake up. Mid, in the middle of the night. Only time I ever sleep through the night is if I'm on my machine and it's set to almost the full number, which I, I turned it down. I couldn't tolerate it. But um, with the Bell's palsy, your eye doesn't close all the way. And 
And I, too, have wondered from time to time if a lot of the palsy isn't from the machine because my machine is set very, very high. I actually set it down a good deal myself. Let's see. And I think this coming Tuesday, he is doing so much better, Tammy. Thank you. Um, he went to the pediodontist that morning next morning she got you know she has a, already had a relationship with the dentist and he did have a hairline fracture up in the gum on the tooth and we've had to keep him kind of still for about a week to a week and a half not in other words no contact sports which he loves messing around playing football and you know rough housing like boys do daddy's a football coach <laughs> but anyway yeah it's been hard keeping him from doing anything that would re-injure it. They said it could, the dental, the it's up under the gun. It's like worst case, best case scenario. But um, it moved the tooth is how she re recognized it. It's not real noticeable, but she knew it had moved it. And it had actually, there was a hairline fracture. But he's doing fine. And his little lip and everything's healed very well. But you just hate for him to lose a tooth at two years old and go all that time without, it, you know, front teeth. We're trying, he has to have, he can't eat like some of the, especially snack food that he was eating. We, we're supposed to keep it relatively soft. I mean, not liquid, but, you know. But the hardest part. Hi, Jen. Another insomniac. I knew Jen doesn't sleep a lot either. Uh, I've been up a long time. I just decided to go live. I'm making a junk bracelet, Jennifer. Uh, I don't know if you were in Cindy's option that time. She had a bracelet similar to this, and everybody went crazy over it. And, uh, and then she found a, a flaw where she didn't want to sell it. In, uh, but the bits were already like soaring on it and I don't know it was just so different and I thought wouldn't that be a great way to use that you know all the broken pieces that you might not want to do a pendant or you know pendants and necklaces are great uses for these but you know something different I had this one piece on here and it actually broke while I was working. I loved having that, but it was all these weird sizes of stuff. And that's what I'm kind of trying to emulate. I cut up an old belt to get that. What did I do with it? Hold on. I have on what I sleep in, so that's why I'm not showing my face. Um, an old belt of some kind. It actually almost looks like incline, but it's not. Uh, has those on it and I cut an eight inch piece off to put my stuff on um, the only thing with using these big heavy things you really need some heavier jump rings than what I have but I'm kind of just messing around doing this for myself I don't think I'll sell it or anything I may make some to sell but this one is just kind of my own so I'm just kind of not being too religious about getting everything perfect on it. I'm just playing in the... I had to play a service in a few hours. I know that I'm going to be kind of... I've been lying back down, and then I get up when we leave to go to my daughter's. And, uh... So it's like I've been dividing the night into half or something. It's real weird. But I'm so tired with the Bell's palsy. It just, you know, by bed, by, after supper, I end up just going and lying down for a while to rest, and then I'm gone. We usually have a pretty busy 
Sunday, we leave church and go, we eat at Wendy's because it's near the thrift store we like to go to in uh, Anvets. If you look, I've got a haul on there where I, I did from the stuff we got at Anvets. But it's a new thrift store beside our Kroger in Bristol, not here where we live, but where we uh, go for church. And uh, so we... We grab us something cheap at Wendy's and then we go on to Anvets. And we do that on Sunday and Wednesday. And if you're a thrift thrifter, um, which I need to, I'm a hoarder, so what I am. I spent the weekend trying to organize the guest room and the office to get the jewelry under control. It's ridiculous. But um, if you're a thrifter, you know that it's. Uh, it's all about it's like yard sale and you, you go to what five yard sales before you get one good one but um, these jump rings are some that I've had forever and they're not very good I bought more silver ones I just don't use the gold ones that much but, uh, the bracelet Cindy had that everybody loved was gold in uh I, my real jewelry is gold i don't always wear it to church on sunday because we go dig through the thrift store on sunday afternoon oh i know jennifer and i'll sort through things and i'll put it in tubs and then i'll take it out of tubs and it's just it's ridiculous and we got this little chest of drawers for my daughter and in my head some way thought i would unload all the tubs into that I don't know what I was thinking. And then I got frustrated. I moved a set of shelving from uh, the guest room into here. We moved the pink armchair out into the guest room. And I don't know, it's just been a whole big messy weekend. I just moved stuff around back and forth and unwrapped it and wrapped it back up. And, I don't know, it's ridiculous. I've got a whole large tub, though, of... Um, craft related kind of things some of them might not even be considered crafts but i have some diamond painting kits and different stuff that i'm gonna i'll probably have tuesday night with with jewelry but i've got a lot of craft supplies too and other things i like kind of how that looks the starfish kind of brings it together here's a little itsy bitsy starfish i think i'll put that on the end of a Maybe a safety chain on the class. I really wish I hadn't have broken that one. I loved how that looked. I, I ran it. It was an old clip earring, and I just clipped it off and filed it. And then I had run a jump ring through one of these things, and it just flat broke off. I don't want to mess with that. I'm still debating on that's just too big, too much. I thought about this. Well, the one Cindy had had very disproportionate, like the stuff that was hanging on. They weren't in proportion or anything. It was like, that's just too much, I think. Uh, it, it was not at all proportionate. It was, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like that either, but it does kind of go with the theme. I don't know. I put that on there. I don't know. Let me see what else I've got. I don't know where this came from. It's missing a stone or two, but it almost looks like... I don't know what it is. Look at that. Some kind of... It's got two of those swords that look like what some of the Shriners use, but there's nothing to do with Shriners on there. It's real weird. Really nice though. The get that. I don't know where that came from or why it's here. <laughs> There's one of Bell's hairs. How that got there, I don't know. Let's see. Ken doesn't give Belle a bath. I'm going to have to get out there and do it. 
because she stinks. Ugh. Our other dog we used to have, Max, would go out and roll in stuff that um, we have had a lot of deer in our neighborhood. And I think some of what he was rolling in was deer stuff. Some of it, when we lived at the other house, he would roll in. We didn't have horses, but there was a a barn and arena and stuff. There'd been horses there. And uh, he would get out when it rained and would roll in the horse stuff. It was awful. But uh, Mel rolls in either, it's either like skunk stuff or raccoon or it could be deer. Max used to roll in the deer stuff, but Belle has done it a time or two. Max would come home, I mean, come back down the yard, and he would be completely, like, caked with it. Well, we don't do the nails. Uh, Max, they did his at the vet, and he was often one of the dogs you would have to muzzle for the vet. And this one little blonde-headed girl he loved, and she could clip his nails and not even muzzle him. And he never attempted to bite her. But um, Belle, when we got her, you know, she wasn't a puppy. And uh, her nails could use some cleaning. If you walk them on the pavement, sometimes that will help fall them down. And she has taken a lot of walks on the pavement. We just took her couple of weeks ago when my son-in-law put her on the leash as we went walking after dinner in uh, she loved that but it, it files their nails down a little bit when you do that in uh, Well, do you have one of those things you just put their paw in and it does it, or do you just do it like manually, you know? Uh, my son-in-law does their dogs with a thing. I don't even know. You put their paw in it some way. I don't really know exactly how it does. But, uh, I had thought about putting a piece off of this necklace on there manually. I tried that. I don't know, years ago when we had poo we used to breed poodles. And that's a whole nother story that I wouldn't recommend it actually. Uh at one time counting pups that we had birthed, we had sixteen poodles in the house. Most of them were downstairs. We had a this was another house, wasn't here, but uh I mean ours were part of the family they weren't out somewhere in a kennel or whatever but they're the dumbest dogs <laughs> well no let me rephrase that they're not dumb they don't they know what what you want them to do they just don't care whether they do it or not and we had one that was so smart and she'd just sit there and look right at you and pee in the floor and uh, she knew she wasn't supposed to but, you know, our old lab mix that we used to have, we had him, I think, almost 14 years. Never once did he ever have an accident in the house, ever. Have black nails. Huh, never heard of that. Well, I, I don't know what color bells are. I haven't looked. Uh Well, I love Belle to death, and my son has a blue tick, and they love her. But <laughs> any of us would be the first to tell you blue ticks were not bred to be pets. I mean, they're good dogs, and, and she's the sweetest with Parker of any of the family dogs. <laughs> but uh, they're just, I don't know what the word I'm hunting for is, but... Yeah. 
Max was the best dog that I have ever in my life had, and I still every day miss that dog. He he was my dog. He laid with me. I at the time was writing, and uh, he would lay with me whatever time of day or night I was writing. He'd be right under me. I always referred to him as my assistant. Bell is a diabetic and uh, we have to kind of battle. She can't hold herself very well. Number two is her infant. Ken spends more time out in the backyard with a shovel cleaning up. I mean, it's unreal what that little skinny dog produces. But anyway, that's gross discussion, but um, he does spend a lot of time out there with a the shovel. And, uh, based, uh, yeah. In case you're ever watching me work, I have a carpal tunnel and I had everything but the surgery. And, uh, the fingers kind of get lost one of my loops when I did that. Now, pooey. I started knitting again. In the, I used to be just a constant and prolific knitter. Could do really hard stuff. And Quickly, I was fast, but I don't knit that fast anymore, and I just mainly like things that don't require a whole lot of thought, uh, just something relaxing to, to work with. Yeah. Let's see what we're going to do with that. I think I'll hook that to right there. Still don't like that as well as that other piece. but I throw all my gold jump rings in together. And uh, I have to fish out what I'm going to use. Crochet is... Um, how how most knitters start out with crochet is what I'm trying to say. Uh, that's how I started. When I was little, my mom taught me to crochet. She crocheted rugs out of wool scraps, and she'd make these gorgeous wool rugs. And, and sometimes she braided them. She had braiders, too, and she braided them. But they would go buy all these old wool clothes and cut them in strips, her and my dad. And uh, they would do that in the winter time. The year we had one year, I was about in second grade, where everybody in the family died. Like my mom lost both her parents, my dad lost his father, and we lost my aunt who lived behind us. And uh, it was kind of just a long winter. And my mom and dad would sit and do that at night while they watched TV. And uh, anyway, she taught me to crochet. And people who crochet rugs, they had you had to pull. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I have a crochet hook over here somewhere. Now use a pin. You you pull that wool through, and you have to hold it this way, or you don't have to, but it to get the leverage you need to pull that wool through, you have to do it like that. And that's called a digger. And that's how I crochet. I, I crochet like my mom taught me this way. You're supposed to crochet this way. My mother-in-law's crocheted that. I can't crochet that way. I knit it that way. But um, so my crochet is usually not like if I get a pattern and make something. It's usually not quite to gauge because diggers and don't crochet to the same size gauge as. And I still enjoy crochet and there's a whole lot of times that it's the answer to an issue but uh, knitting is my favorite 
And that was one of the things this weekend when I moved that shelving unit, I had to, you just can't believe the amount of knitting needles I have and that sort of stuff. I had to, my knitting yarn stash, I had to get rid of a lot of it. When we first moved here, I had it all down in the garage in a cabinet. And at that time, uh, stink bugs were real bad. We don't really have them much now, but... Uh, they got into my knitting bag and it was just gross and died and I don't know, I just didn't want the yarn then. Sounds stupid now that I say it, but I've recollected some of the stash though. Not all of it, but right now I'm working on a little wool and hat for Parker. I have really knitted very little for uh, Parker and Harper like I thought I would have, but I I just haven't had the time in the whatever to do it. Because um, we're babysitting him for one reason. That doesn't look right. I don't like that there. Move it. I got it too close to that other one anyway. Let's see. Yeah, my mom did too, Jen. I had a brown uh, halter dress for my junior prom that my mom made. Or was it my se senior prom? My junior prom, I emptied out my entire savings and bought this dress at a real prestigious wedding store. And it was almost $300, and that was in the 70s. I don't know what possessed me to do that. But anyway, uh, the next year, my mom made my dress, and it was prettier than the other one. I made my kids' clothes. I made my daughter's swimsuits. I, my sewing now is basically just him and pants and stuff. And that's the thing, I have a smocking pleater. I, I smocked dresses for my daughter. And I, my daughter, I asked before he was born, you know, would, would her husband let him wear smocked overalls and stuff? Some men are just funny about it. And uh, they weren't thrilled about it. Well, she ended up dressing him almost every day and purchased from a boutique smocked clothing. And I could have done some of that. Of course, my vision wasn't so great, but um, I still got my smocking pleater, and I had wanted to do things for Harper, too, and I just haven't gotten it done. I, I probably would need to replace all the needles in it and stuff, but um, my daughter bought smocked things for him, and I have a smocking pleater sitting in the... He's just about now... To, you know, he doesn't wear much of it now. He's getting where he wears boy clothes instead of baby clothes. He mainly wants Spider-Man clothes. Let's see if this looks better here. I knew this would be, it's like hanging something on the wall that has two hooks that had to be completely equal to hang right. We hung a TV in the kitchen on the wall and uh, had to rehang some things. I hadn't hung stuff in so long. I guess I just had, I don't know what, but I had forgotten how hard it is just to get something hung correctly on the wall. I think some of it is I just don't have a lot of patience anymore. There we go. I really could have used some larger gold jump rings for this project, but... 
He says, what is it? If wishes were something, I forgot how it goes. If wishes, if wishes were candy and nuts, I don't know. I can't remember how it goes, and it's the middle of the night, and I can't remember. And I put it on backwards. Can you believe that? It fits and it looks good, but it's backwards. Oh my goodness, what a dumb dumb. Hug. And it looked good too. I'm just going to pull it out. No, I can't do that because it's. I don't know why I really even kept that particular necklace. I like pink, and I guess because it was pink. The stuff that I keep in trash sometimes has no rhyme or reason. I've got to clear out stuff, though. I've got, I mean, just... I've got um, oh bless his heart I have that issue with earrings you know uh, I'll make them and realize I've hung them have to start over hung them backwards Well, I have a, um, I didn't make another jewelry order, but I, I, it's weird. I don't like to show stuff more than once, but I have been merely because I didn't. I haven't bought a whole lot of jewelry the last month or two, but uh, we've had a lot of medical we weren't expecting. And uh, I don't have any, I mean, I'm insured, but it's certainly not a Cadillac policy. But um, <clears throat> we got the bill from the CAT scan. So looks like I'll be going down to the bank to pull some money out. But, um, it's unreal what it was even before the insurance paid. And I haven't gotten the bills where they read it yet. He read it, you know, there, there was a radiologist and the, the doctor in the ER. I got the ER bill, but I haven't gotten the... Just it was unreal. Let's see... I need to order some gold jump rings. I have a whole lot of different options with silver, but my gold, I don't have that many. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only person in the world that likes gold. Hi, Johnny. I'm just, uh, I've been up since, oh, Tammy likes gold, too, and Jen does, too. My wedding ring, my, well, my, I don't want to say my real wedding rings. My silver ones are real, but, I mean, my initial, original, 41 years ago wedding rings are gold. And uh, Ken and I bicker when we're out in the grocery, we were in the grocery store and, the one near our house, they know us very well. And uh, one of the assistant managers was standing there. She was actually bagging our stuff for us. 
and talking and Ken said something real smarty to me and I said something back at him and I looked at her and rolled my eyes and I said I would leave him but he would stick me with the kids and the dogs and she laughed and I said yeah I don't know if it's going to work or not I said we've only been married 41 years it may not work <laughs> People look at us like we're crazy. We do that all the time. It's just part of the complexion of our marriage. <laughs> we big, not big or fuss. Just, I don't know how that, we exchange. Our whole family basically does that. We're all sarcastic. But, uh, I was married in the, we were married in uh, 81. And uh, everybody then got four pronged wedding rings because it showed the stone, it made your diamond look bigger. And uh, I was always so terrified, you know, it, it also leaves less uh, security on your stone, you know. It can fall out, is what I'm trying to say. And he had mine size so I could wear it again. And when he did, he had the prongs rebuilt or whatever you want to call that part. They said they were very weak. And they said, we do very little of this work, he said, because very few people's marriages last long enough for the prongs to wear out. But I'm still kind of leery of like, if I'm going to the thrift store or something, I don't want to wear my good rings and be digging and lose one of them down in a box or something. And, uh, I do have sterling ones he bought me. Two sets, actually. One is CZ and one is diamond, but actually really really truly in my heart want to mix metals and for some reason i just can't i try now that looks pretty good it was a lot of trouble but i like how it looks Hang in there. and what i'm doing uh, those of you just coming in um i'm kind of plow back cindy levin had a bracelet on her show that everybody went nuts over and it was just a big linked bracelet with great big huge gold charms on it and uh, I'm kind of copying that but I'm also kind of taking it a step further calling it a junk bracelet because I'm just putting broken pendants and things on it I kind of like the look of it well I'm, I have a time or two and if I have a ring that or a bracelet or a necklace, something that has both colors. I, I don't have a problem with it, but it's like, it's just a, I don't know. It's almost like I, I don't even know how to uh, say what I'm trying to say. It, <laughs> it jars my equilibrium to mix metals. You have to understand how I was raised. <laughs> I had some gorgeous Mexican silver in uh, that I bought when I went to Mexico. And uh, I was in high school. And one of them was Onyx. And one of them, uh, I think, was Lapis. It was a real pretty blue. It was either Lapis or uh, Soda Light. I think it was Lapis. And... Um, and then one was a green stone. I would assume some kind of jade. It was more of a brighter green. And I don't really what the stone. I wasn't into knowing stones and stuff then. But I wore them my junior year in high school. Well, when I went to college, silver, that was the winter that silver, that was my second year of college. Silver went to like $16 a whatever it was ridiculous people were selling everything and 
my parents had sold some silver and she was saying, you know, you ought to sell your silver for some spending money or whatever. And uh, I did not sell my charm bracelet and I'm so glad I did. not It would have made me a whole big bunch of money at that price, but I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't because my dad had bought me a lot of the charms and stuff. I, I'm just glad I didn't. But I did sell those rings. And uh, I remember looking back, my mom said something to the effect of, well, to do people don't wear silver. She never liked it that I was wearing silver. And <clears throat> later in life, that's what she wore but it was funny at the time she informed me you know basically it was lower class to wear silver and uh, I, I've laughed about that ever since but she said I would go on and sell it so I did I hawked it and they they popped out the stones and I have them somewhere but anyway <coughs> I got a lot of money from those rings to help me pay for my expenses that year but um And Sterling will probably never be at whatever it was then. I can't remember. I want to say it was $16. Uh, I don't know if that's an ounce or a gram or what it is. But uh, I wore white pants the other day in the store. I had worn them over to my daughter's. It was hot that day. And I had my white capris and a yellow shirt. Something real summery in October. And uh, <clears throat> I went in the store on the way home, and I thought how my mom would not like me wearing those white pants in October it would bother her. <laughs> now the big question is to add that or not. And I'm thinking I might. I don't think this is a real tooth. It feels like it's carved out of bone or something. Let me look at it under the loop. Which, who knows where the loop has gravitated to in the course of this day. I'm trying to clean out my office. Well, you know, Jen, that's not a bad thing. There's no cross hatching, so it's not, you know what. I don't know, I just can't tell if it's a natural material or a plastic, but I'm kind of thinking about sticking that right there or over here. Now I like it better beside the fish. And like I said, the one that Cindy had that everybody liked was very random. It was just well, and you know, some of the things that we grew up on, and I'm older than you, but I mean that traditional mothers taught us like writing thank you notes and saying thank you. Uh, I drove my daughter nuts over writing thank you notes. She still talks about me. Like at graduation from high school and graduation from college, I wouldn't let her cash any checks or anything until she had written a thank you note to the person. And uh, <laughs> I don't think, you know, not everybody does that. And I think that a lot of that kind of stuff has fallen to the wayside, and it's it's a shame. Now, I'm going to have to probably make some kind of bail for that. I don't think I have a loop large enough. And she ran for something that they had used to have. I think they still have it called Queen of Hearts. And uh, people donated to the Heart Association. And whoever got the most, like they'd put their pictures out in the mall. And whoever donated got the most won the queen of hearts title and people supposedly were donating to the one they thought was prettiest and all this but <coughs> when her checks would come in for that i made her write every single person a thank you note 
And she was a busy little girl, I mean, at the time. And I wouldn't let her even deposit it to her Queen of Hearts account until she wrote a thank you note. And some of that, all of that's from my mother. It's just. Well, there's a little sand dollar. That'd be cute on there, too. I don't know. I'm debating on this tooth. But, like, wear, you know, so, something just oddball, like wearing white shoes after Labor Day. Odd little things like that. <coughs> and the use of certain words that... Uh, you know, mom considered crass or not. You never said the word lie. Like you wouldn't say, you're lying. No, you don't say that. You say fibbing. I think I'm going to have to get some wire and make a... Or I could use two loops. Let's see. My brother, I remember, was in college. I remember where we were standing in the driveway when he said it. And he said, bullcrap. Something mom was talking about or I was talking about. And he said, bullcrap. And my mother went, yes. Uh, yeah, mom used that term too. And uh, it was more polite and, and telling somebody they told a lie is kind of like an accusation or something I think is where the mindset comes from but uh, I'll never forget my brother saying that and my mom literally had some kind of explosion when he said that she was horrified I mean he was in college <laughs> probably in his 20s it, when he, the minute he said it, I thought, here we go. It, uh, oh, my mom had a fit. I'm trying to use two loops and put this on. I don't know how it's going to work. And the word pregnant, you didn't really use. And it's funny, you know, as I got older, of course, my mom used, I guess she used it, but Kitty's mother, uh, Ken's mother, when we, you'll hear me call him Kenny, uh, when we met, that's what he went by. But then it, our son's a junior, and, and that got so confusing as he got older that Kenny went to Ken. Uh, let's see how that looks looks like I would put the camera in an area where there wasn't a great big old hole and I do have other uh, beading mats but this one's my favorite Lydia bought it for me gave it to me okay let's see yeah. Yeah, I got it hanging right. Let's see. I hope so. Usually when you're wearing it, it's not uh, laying flat anyway, but I just like it to be right. There we go. This piece here and me have had a not very happy relationship. I may end up taking it off. We'll see. Yeah, I don't like that. I'll probably take that off. Find something else. As I said, this is just a bracelet for myself anyway, not to sell. Yeah, I don't like this. This is coming off. The giant tooth stays and this piece comes off. Well, what I was getting at, Kenny's mom would not say 
pregnant, even when I was pregnant, she didn't use the word. She would say that way. So-and-so is that way. She never said pregnant. Something here to replace that thing. Let's see what I can put there. And by the way, I was just thinking these things like this. I have gotten so many of these in jewelry jars and stuff, and I don't know what that was. But what it is, I forgot what it's called, but it goes into your crock shoe. As a decoration, but the odd thing on this one, it has a, a bail too where you could wear it as a necklace. But they go into your shoe, my understanding, which I quit wearing Crocs a long time ago. They, My daughter said they had more people in the emergency room from Croc accidents than they did car accidents. I think she was exaggerating, but that I almost killed myself in a grocery store when the floor was wet well that i'd been outside my shoes were wet i guess and i went sliding and oh, it would have been horrible let's see Ooh, i love that little piece it looks like a piece of coral or something from the sea let me find a ring or something to glue that in I'm thinking about it. I'm going on and put the clasp on. I think I'll put the clasp on this side. Find it. When you're using, like, this is an old belt, uh, you have to. The links are so big, you have to have pretty big uh, jump rings just to hook around them. Okay, let's see. There we go. He's a great big class. I like great big uh, lobster claws i don't really care for spring rings even big ones because for some reason for me they always break but i love great big old lobster claws toggles are fun but i'd already cut the thing eight inches and you really have to allow uh I need to put some kind of loop on the end. Da, 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 da. I love the nighttime when nobody's texting me and calling me and needing this and that. And it's just quiet. I don't know if that's big enough. We'll try it and see. Yeah. Wish I had one that size. Now I'm going to add some more stuff. I just wanted to get the clasp on there. Need something right there. <laughs> Let me look. Right here. Those are earrings. Oh, God, just do that. Oh. Y'all hear that? Here's 
some interesting things I found out in there. Uh, look at that little frog stick pin. That's cute. I think uh, stress, any kind of, well, Bell's palsy isn't quite the same, but it's that kind of illness that stress aggravates it. And like if something happens, like when Parker got hurt, uh, I can feel my face twist completely and look in the mirror and my eyes like dragging down and I think stress aggravates a lot of illnesses and makes it worse. This is Mother of Pearl. It needs a good wiping off, though. Let's see. I don't even know if it'll look right. I don't know. I don't, I don't like that either. Oh, well, let's see what else we can find. I have a little bucket right here of pieces I've had forever. Let's see what we can find. I forgot I had this thing. All these rhyme, big old huge rhinestone pieces. Aren't those pretty? Let's see. I've had for months in trying to organize to make jewelry. And I finally just decided I'm never going to get over this. I might as well just go on and make some jewelry. Now this, I believe, was bone, but I don't know if I like that. I don't know what kind of brings that together. I'll set it right there. A whole lot of cool pieces in here, but most of them are silver. Let's see if I can find. I would bring the camera out, but y'all just don't need to see that. <laughs> I sleep in um, CVS, you know, has clothing and uh, nah. Uh, Years ago, a couple of years ago, I bought a lot of these sundresses they have, and uh, I sleep in them. That's what I use them for. I would never go outside like they show people wearing them, you know, out. I would never wear this out, but I don't even want y'all to see me. That's how bad it is, but. They're the most comfortable thing to, uh, what's that? I don't like that. It's too dressy for this. Let's see what I got right here. I'm going to put that back up. I don't know why I kept this little bottle. It was, so, there was something in it, and I just thought it was so cute. That little leaf might be cute. This is mainly stuff I set aside for earrings. I had these two beautiful tiger's eye pieces I'm going to make earrings out of. Aren't those pretty? They're so cold. And this piece, I thought attaching some chain to each end. 
These are little fish, but they're silver. I just don't want to stick silver into that. Yeah. No, these are predominantly earring things. I just have the awfulest mirage of mess everywhere. And, you know, I'm just, I'm tired of trying to has spent today even trying to, that's too big. I just, I don't like that on there. Tell you something weird. Look at that. <laughs> it's a pen of corn. It's odd, isn't it? I don't think it's marked. No, it's not. I need one of those little boogers on the back of it. Let's see. Something else. Surely I got something else. Oh, and look at these. I got these last week in a lot. They're earrings with little sparkles in the glass. Glass, and then you, this is the back to the earring or the front. I guess you could wear it either way. Oops. Ken and I both spotted these and thought, well, those are just really weird. Oops, honey. I figure they're breakable. I've been really careful with them. Let me see what else I can find. I have a, a tub of pendants. That's what I need to get into. Oh. Ah, here we are. Okay, let's see what we got. I had neither. This this is actually a zipper pull. That would be cool on there. I like that look. Not the purple, but the yellow. Let me put that on here. Let's see what's in here. Yeah. Some cool, cool treasures. I don't see a whole lot of gold. Those are interesting beads. That would be cute to put on there some way. They're uh, scarabs from a broken scarab bracelet. Yeah. I'll put those in after I get off so they won't. Hi, Steph. Come on in. It's an insomniac support group. <laughs> I'm uh, working on what I would call a junk bracelet. I saw one. Uh, Cindy Levin had a store-bought one on her channel that everybody just loved. It was just a gold, big, heavy chain with lots of large-scale charms on it, pendants. Well, they weren't really charms. They were almost the equivalent of pendants, and that's what I'm doing. This is for my sales, so... Just oddball stuff that I really like. Um, and I'm just casually looking through my junk to see if I got anything else. I don't want it to get too heavy. Here's some pieces. Let me see what's in here. It's all looks silver. Uh, I'm going to wear this to church tomorrow. We'll see. Nah, oh, that's amber. <laughs> I don't want to put amber on there. Hold on. Yep. 
there is a real big old bug in that one. I don't want to hang that one. Let's see. I could put that little leaf. Now, this is really cute. It looks like some kind of, I don't know what, but it's cute. Something from the Dark Ages or something. I may put that on there. We'll see. There's this fish, but it's silver. Well, a sailboat would be cute since there's some fish on there. Let's see. Oh, I love this. I'm not putting it on here, but this one uh, is old, I believe. Isn't that cool? I have just tons of uh, stuff. Okay, that's a heart. I don't know what that's carved out of. It's stone. I might put that on there. I'll see. Here's an anchor. That would be cute with the starfish and stuff. There's a cowboy boot. It doesn't really go. Here's a cross. Is that gold tone? Yeah. So let me put that on there. Nah. Love this bead, but it's silver tone. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, medieval knight with that thing they carried around whatever it's called <laughs> I'm going to put some of this up I don't have room to work Don't like, well, I don't know. Come to do. I like the heart, but I like it right there. Then you put that right there. Hmm. Hold on just a second. Um, my sugar start to tank. I haven't really had much anything to eat since supper. And it's getting me one of Ken's clearance rack Halloween candies he bought. I told him he's trying to kill me. Okay. How sturdy that one's gonna be, but oops.
I'll put it on backwards. Let me quickly turn that around. this way now I think I'm I don't know about that one I haven't decided okay let's put the anchor and the sailboat on I'm not real sure about him he doesn't really go with the theme uh, I'll probably do some more of them I may use him on a different one This one's going to hang a little wonky because the uh, little sideways and it ain't going to hurt anything though. Okay, let's get the anchor on. I didn't have an offertory for tomorrow. And seeing this anchor reminds me of a song. I may try to do my anchor holds. I like that song. With the ma da 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 my tempest driven song. It's a real old song in that. One of my older ladies at church introduced me to it years ago. Okay, let's see. That, that little sailboat is not wanting to do what it's supposed to. I need one more thing over here on this end. Let's see. Wish I had some other C thing. That little gold leaf would be cute. I may just I don't know how. Yeah, that's right, sturdy. I'll put that on there. Okay, we're getting there.
I'll have to check that out. I've always wondered about the, the storage. We used to watch that storage auction show when we had cable. And uh, now we, we watched it occasionally on, uh, well, we were getting Discovery Channel package and we really weren't watching it. So we had it cut off. But there's some free channels and sometimes we'll run across storage wars on YouTube. But we used to watch that, and I always wondered about that. We have a storage place right down from us, and I thought about just stopping in and asking them about it. But um, I know a lot of you guys do them online. I don't know where, Ken and I would have to move out of our house if I get much more junk. I really wanted to pull in the garage this winter since we're leaving out early in the mornings most days. I just can't believe. It's just ridiculous. And we started thrifting again at Amvets in uh, before coat, the C word, uh, we used to go to Goodwill. It's not every day. Pretty often in that. I don't know if I'm going to put that on there or not. Let me cut that off this card where I can see what I got. Here. It's actually a zipper pull. I don't know if I like how that looks. No, no. It needs something though. Yeah. Needs like one more thing. Look at this. Have a few bits and things. of the things I have saved are silver tones, so it seems. Oh, okay. That will have to be really interesting to me. Thank you. Ah, I'm not going to like this. Yeah, like that. Well, you really need three of them, but. I can't stand just two or something, else, so I'll probably just use one to get a. Uh, I moved all my findings over to this uh, cabinet over here and how this is working out for me. Those are all silver tea pens. Now, let's see. Yeah, 
of leaning around those pliers, which I also leave over here, which is just not convenient. Okay, now. Bring that over far enough. Reading glasses. Hold on. I have bifocals and I cannot see out of them up close. So I'm wearing my dollar store reading glasses. Dollar General, actually. Since this is on a bracelet, I figure it would probably be good to have a wrapped loop instead of just a... That's kind of stupid, though, because I'm going to hang it with a regular old loop. So. I'm about ready for new clippers. I think I must have used these on memory wire, which ruins them. When I bought these, I said I wasn't going to do that. And, uh, okay, there you My son-in-law is an assistant coach, football coach, and uh, they won last night. So they are actually, they're going to the district play, and they do it differently now. It has to do with these hot points or something anyway, but they, they will get to play at home because of winning last night or something. I hope so too, Jen. If you disappear, we'll know you're asleep and we'll say, good for you. Sounds very much like Ken and Bell are sleeping well. Occasionally, she'll have those dreams like they do, you know, where they, they're chasing something in their dreams, apparently.
and they do their hands and their feet like that. Oh, nerve pain is the worst. When uh, uh, Bell's palsy first sets in, the nerve pain is what is so bad. People don't understand it. Do you have to take Gavin Penton? I, I have some he gave me the first time for nerve pain. And I just, it makes me feel so awful. I don't take it very often. I took it a little bit when the Bell's palsy first set in. But it just makes me feel terrible. And like when it wears off, I feel terrible. It's just. The pain was really, really, really bad for a while, and it seemed to kick up the pain in the other side, uh, you know, the old side where I had had it for so long, and uh, seemed to kick it up. So I, I had to take it for a week or two, and then I, I just don't like how I feel on it. It just, I don't know, it's an odd kind of feeling. I've heard people say their doctors told them that it, you know, it was almost harmless or whatever, but... It's not the case really for me. I, I just don't. I have a lot of nerve pain in my feet sometimes. And occasionally I will take it for that. Now, I may just leave it at this. I think it's, I don't know. The one Cindy had didn't have this many charms on it, and everybody just loved it. We were all, like, fighting over it, and she had to pull it. So I may just leave it at this. I'll wear that tomorrow to church. It's pretty good. Well, I have some back issues going on, and uh, my feet are mainly from diabetes, but I have some of that same kind of, I'll tell you the one nerve pain that literally will drive you out of your mind, is, and it's not that serious with the sciatica, how it runs down your leg into your foot, oh my goodness, that will make you crazy. I always found that um, ice helped better than heat when I had that. The heat seemed to just not do anything. And what I got to where I was doing was, in Belle tore the beanbag chair. Well, she messed it up and Ken threw it out. You deal with sciatica a lot. Well, I would put ice packs in the beanbag chair. It sounds crazy, but. And put myself in the beanbag chair and prop my feet up into a dining room chair. And that would give me, and you know, of course, ibuprofen too, but I didn't have gab gabapentin at the time I had it really bad. Uh, gabapentin helps it a lot. Uh, my daughter told me that. She said, You have gabapentin, take some of that. But, um, that ice in the beanbag chair always helped better. And I guess the elevation, too, and the positioning of putting uh, your feet up like that. But, uh, isn't it weird how, like, if your feet are going to bother you, if you have, I have, you know, the diabetic crap in my feet. But uh, when you go to bed, it's when it starts. You can be fine. You know, you're working, you're doing whatever, and then you lie down in bed. <laughs> it's like, aha. Uh -huh. uh, I've got to replace my ivory soap. When I use a bar of ivory soap under the sheets, like under the fitted sheet, it helps my legs and feet. And I, sometimes it'll come out, you know, when you change a bed or whatever. And I'll forget to put it back in. And you could tell a difference. But my mom had seen that in the newspaper. That doctor that writes in the newspaper. And uh, he said to do it. I don't even know why it works. 
but it does and it needs to be ivory it can't be like Irish spring or something it has to be ivory and you just slide it up at the foot of the bed under your fitted sheets and uh, it does help and I, I'm thinking the other day ours had fallen out and the bad thing when it falls out either my daughter's dogs or our you know the dogs get it so we have to watch that but it's crazy and you can google it and uh, kind of see you know about it but it's a thing, you know, I don't know how much it would help you or whatever, but it does seem to help my legs when I remember to do it. And sometimes I'll put two bars and actually lay my feet on the bars under the sheet. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to, I'll be, I've got to go to the church job today and I already got my shower during the night. My hair's drying, so I'll be ready to go. But, that extra hour, I just wonder how many people will be early for church, I guess. I'm trying to think. One time we went late for church and got there as they were closing the service. And they, it was when you do it the other way. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. And hopefully you'll see me again. I think I'll just start coming on some when I can't sleep. Well, good night, good morning, and we'll catch everybody later. Thank you. See you at bingo tomorrow night, Johnny. We love Johnny's bingo. If you don't play bingo at 5 on Mondays, you're missing it. Well, it's 4.30 now, I think. And uh, you just pick your numbers. It's so much fun. Well, we'll talk to you guys later.